This video is going to show how to set up conditional orders in Thinkorswim. On my chart here, you can see that I have Apple loaded and you can set up conditional orders for stocks or options. Now to do it, we're going to go to the trade tab and the all products sub tab. And you can see here this underlying dropdown has the information for the stock. And so you can right click anywhere on that row and you can set up uh, you go and go to buy right here and it brings up this buy window down here and you can do this for a buy order or a sell order But from here the way to set up a conditional order is you go way over here It doesn't even show this icon, this uh, gear icon Unless you mouse over it. So it looks like an empty little green square right there But if you go over it, it shows up. It's super tiny It's like a hidden icon uh, and you click it and this is how you set up a conditional order. So you indicate up here what is the actual order details itself, like what kind of order are you going to want to place. And then down here is where you indicate the conditions. Uh, so it can be a conditional order like submit at a specific time. Or uh, you can base it on when, I don't know, when uh, the S&P 500 reaches a particular price. Uh, there's all sorts of different conditions uh, that you can use, but this is the window where you go to set up a conditional order. Now, this is uh, how you do it with stocks. You can also do it with options. So uh, I this is my uh, simulated trading account here, and you can see that I have one position open. It's right here where this POS indicator is, and it's for Apple options, the 180 strike September 1st option. I'm on the call option side. I can set up a conditional order here and I'll show you how I'm going to do that and make it based on the stock price. So I'm going to set up a conditional sell order that's based on the stock price. I'm going to right click where I already have this existing call option and I'm going to go to sell and single since it's just a single call option and that brings up the order window again. Now I'm going to go do that special trick and mouse over this and click that hidden gear icon. And this is where I can set up the order. So let's say that I want, to, first of all, I only have uh, one, one contract, so I need to sell just one contract. And let's say I want to sell it at the market price once, once the condition is met that I'm looking to have met. And Maybe uh, uh, I'll use a good till cancel time and force. So this is just the normal like order details themselves. Now let me set up the condition. I'm going to set it up where if the Apple price and when it comes to um, the mark as far as stock prices go, that means the midpoint between the bid and the ask. So I'll leave it at mark. You could go with bid, you could go with ask, but I'll leave it at mark. I'm going to say if that gets to be greater than or equal to $190, that's my condition for selling the option. The current price of Apple stock is $187.65. So by doing this, I'm basically making my option order conditional upon the price of Apple stock. It's just an example of a way to set up a conditional order. Uh, then you go and you hit save. And that is now built into this, this order right here. So you can hit confirm and send. And notice that when you do this, this is a confirmation window before you submit the order. Notice that it shows the order condition. So you can see here that the condition is correct. Apple, the stock itself, the mark, meaning the midpoint between the bid or the ask, has to be at or above $190 in order for this order to be filled. So this, this order won't be filled until then. In fact, it won't even be an open order until this condition gets met. You know, we set up a sell market order, but this is not like an active order in the books yet. This order is just kind of waiting until this condition gets met before it gets deployed into the system and ready to be filled. So this all looks good. This gives you, gives you a way to make sure that it looks correct. Uh, you can hit send. You get a little uh, indicator right here that your conditional sell order is set up, at least here for this option order. And if you go to the chart, whether it's uh, for the stock or the option, you know, whatever kind of conditional order you set up, uh, you typically will have an indicator on the chart. 
And this is uh, an indicator right here that we have that conditional sell order open. It's, it looks as if it's right at the current price right now, but it's gonna kind of just hover there and go wherever that current price goes. Uh, that's just how it's indicated in Thinkorswim when there's a conditional order like that. And uh, once the stock price gets to 190 or if the stock price gets to 190 before the option expires or before you cancel the order, uh, then that order will be filled. That order will be, will uh, I should say, it won't necessarily be filled, it will be deployed. And since it, in our case it's a market order, it likely will be filled immediately once it's deployed. So that's how you set up conditional orders in Thinkorswim. You can do it for stocks, you can do it for options, you can, as you saw, do it for options based on conditions of stocks. You can make the condition based on studies or other indicators. So there's a lot to play with there. Uh, now you know how to do it. If you have any questions about conditional orders in Thinkorswim or about trading or the stock market, you can reach out to us anytime. Our email address is support at stockmarketguides.com.